Tonight, a record cold snap has turned Texas into a tundra. Flurries fell in southeast Texas, blanketing Galveston's sandy beaches in white. The city manager there warning infrastructure damage caused by the extreme temperatures could rival the cost of a hurricane. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Frozen road sent an 18-wheeler careening out of control near Austin, and a man nearly lost his life, jumping just seconds before a car lost control and crashed into a police cruiser. The extreme low temperatures spun up this so-called snow NATO in East Texas. The ultra low temperatures will last for several days, meaning that what becomes frozen will remain frozen for a long period of time. The historic storm caused problems across the country. Firefighters in Vermont rescued this young man from frigid waters after he fell through the ice. Tennessee roads turned into ice rinks after frozen precipitation fell. In Little Rock, Arkansas, cars were brought to a standstill on a slippery highway, trapping nurses who just got off their shift. Stay home. Stay, home or stay, stay where you are. Stay home. The temperatures in parts of Oklahoma dipped below 20 degrees for five days straight for the third time ever. And with another storm looming, crews worked to clear snow as fast as they could. Nearly four million people across the south have lost power. In Louisiana, the cold caused a transformer to blow, ripping a fireball through power lines. The agency overseeing Texas's power grid has declared its highest emergency level in over a decade. Texans sitting in the dark tonight after rolling blackouts were issued due to high power demand. The power outage also complicating the fight against the pandemic after a facility storing vaccines in Houston lost power. Medical officials scrambled to use them before they spoiled and students at nearby Rice University lined up for a surprise dose. From Kansas to Texas, power providers are urging people to conserve energy, but that's going to be tough because new winter warnings have just been issued that will stretch all the way from Dallas all the way south to San Antonio, and that could affect 15 million people. Major? Snownado, that's a new one. Omar Villafranca, thank you very much.